I just had a friend call me. She'd seen the movie. She goes, I tried the knife. It's really good. Um, <laughs> yes. you know, but on set, actually, the refrigerator we were using was not really good. So the ice cream would come out already melted. So I was trying to pretend <laughs> like it was hard to cut. But I love it. It's, I'm going to serve it that way always. Well, I'm meeting someone here. Supposed to be. <laughs> and who is this someone? I don't know, really. I mean, I knew him as a kid. Not even sure what he looks like anymore. <laughs> How are you guys doing today? Good. I, I mean, I just realized like it's like hailing and raining right now just started and my windows are open. So I'm like, of course, the dumbass in me already is going to be like wiping it down after this interview. You know, should have probably had an RV, you know, where, then I wouldn't have that problem. Where are you? Chicago. Oh, OK. <laughs> yeah. Yep. It just comes and rains out of nowhere, you know, yeah. so that's where. <laughs> but I picked up a lot of stuff from this film, uh, some new tricks and stuff. The ice cream thing with the pocket knife. Uh, Dale, is this your idea? That's a first I've saw it. I think that's a really practical way of doing it because I've broken actual spoons trying to do that. How did that happen? <laughs> it, 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 it's it's true. I, I The hot beer and the ice cream were very strange to me, but that's part of Max's quirkiness. And uh, I, uh, I don't know if there was an old wives tale or he knew someone, I think he knew someone that used to cut it. Cause when it's frozen like that, I just had a friend call me, she'd seen the movie and she goes, I tried the knife, it's really good. Um, <laughs> yes. you know, but on set actually the refrigerator we were using was not really good. So the ice cream would come out already melted. So I was trying to pretend <laughs> like it was hard to cut, but I love it. It's, I'm gonna serve it that way always. You know, pocket Wes, knife. how was the ice cream? Was it good? <laughs> It was great. And yeah, I went straight home and started using a knife on, uh, yeah. On, on, what on, flavor on, did we on, have there? <laughs> I think it was mint chocolate chip, wasn't it? Oh, nice. With hot beer. It was just so delicious. Mm -hmm. And you had the cones, too. The cones were the, you know, the icing on the cake right there, too, right? <laughs> Those little touches. Yeah. I, I love, love that. Them. Another thing, it's like, I don't know how if you guys knew each other prior to the film, but the awkwardness between your characters so, like familiar familiarized me in a many dates of being awkward and like not knowing when to make a move. Uh, that was the awkwardness is so beautifully awkward that I don't think you could act that out. Like that's to me is like prime acting right there. So uh, tell me about how you guys approach that because I thought it was flawless and so true to life. Thank you. I wasn't acting, no. <laughs> I believe it. I believe it. <laughs> it was Wes and I ended up sharing a house together uh, after we quarantined in Telluride. We moved to Norwood, uh, southwest of Telluride, and mm -hmm. the crew were in two houses. We shared a house. So we made a decision early on to <clears throat> not discuss the characters, really. We wanted things to be spontaneous because we've had 40 years apart and, and just have yeah. the magic happen on camera. So we instantly had a rapport as we did with the whole crew and um but yeah we're not used to playing i'm not i don't think was is either love 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 stories so that was just awkward in itself and i think we both have a shy quality but that that worked it was so true to life i feel like it's kind of that teenage first impression <laughs> you know thing after years of not seeing each other like well what do you do it's so true it's like yeah you're not going right away for like hugging and kissing i think you need right. to build up to that yeah. Do you even know me? Do you recognize what I look like? You know, you go to some high school reunions, 40 years, people look different. Sure. Would you guys ever take an RV and just disappear for a summer or a month or two? Do you think that's feasible in today's world of technology? I feel it'd be so like relaxing and just clearing of your mind to do that. I think that's the perfect idea for the sequel. Yeah. There you go. Okay. Uh, we'll have to give you a credit. A second love story, you can call it. Love story. <laughs> love story too. <laughs> yeah. 
I would do it in a okay. heartbeat. I go camping a lot and out in nature, but uh, disconnecting from the technical world is is lovely. It depends. Like it, I have family members that are old and elderly, so you know having that connection is important when when you've got people you need to be in touch with. But just shutting down for a while and letting go and get the business stuff is. I think it would be good for everyone's mental health to, to get away Absolutely. once in a while. Absolutely. You guys are terrific. I, I love the love story in a sense. It's it's true to life. This is what life sometimes is. And uh, you guys were fantastic. So uh, can't wait for a sequel. Maybe hey, there's more trips to be made, right? Right. Just go out and see the movie now. I think you'll love it. Absolutely. Thanks so much. Hope to connect with both of you on the next one. Okay. Thank you, Jim. <laughs> Ha, 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 ha.